what up, homies? It's your man's Coach Smetto. We coming to you live from our PS3. It is the series premiere of our Gonzaga Bulldogs dynasty. Now, this is it's an experiment, and I'm hoping it, it in my head this is gonna be the best series I've done so far. Uh, thank you, all the guys. You know, you've been paying attention to the to the UNT dynasty. We will get back to that eventually but this one this one's gonna be our baby this is the one we're gonna go through all the way up to the release of the next game uh the unc dynasty will be back give, just give it time but our focus is gonna be here because we're gonna we're gonna do this organically we have all kinds of restrictions in place uh i finally started adding players from the group so if you want to be one of the recruits in this dynasty as we as we go along just respond when i when i put the beacon out you know at the end of the season we got our recruits you want to be one of them give me your height weight position number specific swag you want to be and what type of player you want to be we'll talk about that in a second let's start with how but this program i don't know what word you use for but it's tiny uh cheeks whatever it is we are that the one thing we can kind of say is yo our academics we go hard this university has class class <laughs> and not much else as you can see all the stuff that the the blue chips want we we ain't got it we ain't got it you come to our atmosphere you know our stadium it's it's you the cheerleaders the band and like the guy selling hot dogs our tradition non-existent our athletic, athletic facilities hey man we got a field over there pro potential <laughs> you know what i'm saying but uh this is what we're starting off with and this stuff will matter because of the restrictions that we've put on the program. So let's go talk about that. Now, anybody who's played this game for the last decade, after a while, you pretty much figure out all the ways, you know, the recruiting, the, 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 there's, some, there's some cheesy things you can do to help you build your program up pretty fast. We're gonna put restrictions on all of that. We want this to be the toughest, definitely the toughest rebuild we've ever done because we're gonna play every game. Not quite death penalty, because to me the death penalty, having a 23 overall team, that's that's kind of silly. That's not realistic. I don't even think SMU would have been that bad. Uh, but we're gonna do this organic. We're gonna we're gonna build the program organically. I'm gonna use that word a lot. From the like I said, from the very foundation core until we're running the country. And how we're gonna do that, first of all, coach progression is at the slowest. Because when you start putting points into recruiting, you immediately, you know, hey, once you go from 500 to 700 a week that you can offer these recruits and, and recruiting points, uh, once your uh, traditions and, and your championship contender and pro potential uh, school ratings go up, all of a sudden you're getting blue chip after blue chip after blue chip, and then your team becomes unbeatable, especially if you're playing at the, the default sliders. Like there's, there's there's too many ways to take advantage of the game, so we're first uh, making it tougher to take advantage of the game, and second, putting restrictions on ourselves so that it's not easy to take advantage of the game, even if we wanted to. So first, coaching progression is on its slowest. It's going to be cumbersome to uh, move up these these coaching trees. Second, before we can put a point into recruiting, we have to put three points into game management. So for every recruiting, three into game management. Why? We play the games. We play every play of the game. We play. We defend 65 to 70 plays a game. That's how we're going to do it. That's going to make it really tough on us, especially considering that our team is not very good. I'm going to have to be a, a, a magician out there to even compete with teams in the Mountain West. Uh, we cannot add a four-star recruit until we win the Mountain West. So right now, we are only only recruiting two and three star players we can't add a five star recruit until we win back to back mountain west uh conference championships and then are then moved up to the pac 12 so when we went back to back the mountain west ain't, ain't for us no more we go into the pac 12. we cannot put a point into scouting until we average forty thousand in attendance now, I, I don't know how, how quick you guys are with the eyes the stadium that we play in is max capacity 50,000. Until we're filling that up, we don't have the budget to be going all over the country, scouting people, showing up at camps and all that, nah, 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 nah. We're building this organically. 
So un until we average 40,000 in attendance, we cannot put a single point into scouting. We cannot m then max that risk, that scouting uh, coaching tree right here, right here, this one, this one right here, until we average 45,000. So we don't have to be filling out the bones out bone stadium, but uh, we definitely got to be people have got to be there. We can't just be 10,000 people in the crowd and expect to be able to afford to do a lot of the things that a Division One college can do. We can only actively recruit players in our pipeline states, which are Washington, Idaho, California. California is a nice place to be able to recruit, but you can already see the way these restrictions are working against us. We're not going to be competing with USC, UCLA, Oregon, Stanford for a while. You know what I'm saying? And we can only add recruits outside of Washington, California, Oregon, Montana, Idaho, Canada, and Hawaii if academic prestige is in their top three. So if it's one of those, you know, Vanderbilt, Duke, Notre Dame, Virginia, you know, th those, those, those institutes of higher learning that really value the student athlete, they've got to be in the top three for us to even add them. But remember, I just said we can only actively recruit players in our pipeline states. So we can go outside of our pipeline states and add the kid to our recruiting board, but we cannot put points into that kid unless they're in one of our pipeline states. So I can put a kid on a recruiting board and we can get those those uh, bonus points, but I can't put 500 into him. No, 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 he's just gotta really wanna come to our academic prestigious university and have, wait for it, class. Eh? Eh? So those are the initial uh, restrictions we're gonna put. And even if we start winning the Mountain West and going up to the Pac-12, there's gonna be more restrictions that are gonna, you know, it's gonna take a couple of more years before we can really start lining up the four and the five star kids. I also forgot to mention, we, we, we play with a, with a gatekeeper. Our Mountain West gatekeeper is Coach Brian Harson and the Boise State Broncos. What I mean by that is, okay, so we're gonna we don't recruit for them, but we set up the uh, the way they recruit, starting with need. Let's say they're low on linebackers and they need linebackers. We'll we'll change that to high and medium and low. How, however, we need to so that they're gonna replenish their team every year. They're gonna keep Harson there every year. That way. Every time, let's say we, we win our division and we get to the conference championship, we expect a Boise State or somebody who's good enough to beat Boise State to be our opponent. And their job as the gatekeeper is to keep us down, to keep us out of the Pac-12, to keep us, to, to mess up our rating, our ranking every year by beating our head in. And, you know, we don't actively recruit for them. All we do is we, we, we take the recruits off who, you know, the lock and, and anything where they aren't able to recruit that kid, we take them off the board so that the computer can then fill it back up and that way they stay uh, relevant they stay tough they're Boise State's a five-star program on here uh, for all we know uh, they may recruit the same kid we recruit but they'll put max points in and we won't be able to compete with that so on top of our restrictions we have a gatekeeper whose job is to keep us down so you can't see it you might be able to hear it I'm rubbing my hands together and like a, a villain villainous you know ha 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 that type of thing because this is the most exciting part of this dynasty to me is i want the max engagement from you guys watching the videos i want you liking commenting sharing and subbing every video i want you telling your friends i want you telling your friends friends mom dad brother sister wh whatever i want you i want to get the word out i want to grow the channel by you know engaging with you guys because that's, that's you know like I said I want to be the biggest YouTuber out there I want to I want to have so much clout that EA has to listen to me that's really what I want I want I want EA to be like yo yo Smetter <laughs> like that's what I want and so how we're gonna do that and it's really funny I was I was having a delegation uh, a delegation I was having a meeting with the homies and one of them came up with this idea and I was like yo I know I I make fun of your intelligence a lot that was mad genius son. So this is how it works. If you want to be a recruit and you want to be part of this, this journey we're going on, because it's going to be a journey, 
we're gonna have ups and a lot of downs and there's gonna be broken controllers and high pitched man grunting all of that all you gotta do yo hit me up give me your height weight position the number you want uh, the type of player you want to be example receiver you want to be a speed guy you want to be a possession guy and any specific swag you want what kind of helmet you want where you if you want spats if you want gloves yada 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 blah 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 and i'll add you because we're not hollywood yet i'll eventually make a patreon and and we know the channel blows up and you got to be subscribed for like a dollar a month and then you'll get access to this stuff but for right now yo we're we're, we're the, the the channel and the program are side by side we're building it up so this is how it works if you want to be a player and you're not subscribed you're going to be a 62 overall like i said we can only recruit two and three star players we can even touch four star players so you're going to be a two or three star player if you're not subscribed that rating will be at 62 to start off if you are subscribed but you don't really engage you, know, you just kind of watch the videos and like you know you just kind of you know I, I entertain you and you you like you know coming through bet you'll start off as a 65 overall now if you know if you've been actively engaging and, and you're subscribed and you know you comment on the video and you let me know ha 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 I love this player blah 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 I love when you did that and I thought that was funny you start off as a 68 overall which is on the high end of the three stars and low end of the four stars this is this is where it gets interesting this is where i, I was like yo homie that was that was mad genius son naturally you're gonna follow along naturally you're gonna you know like and you're gonna comment well we gotta reward you for that so let's say you you're not subscribed but you watch you follow along your player you know you made it on your first come first serve when you like the video, go down to the comment section and comment where you would like a point added to one of your attributes. So let's say you are Corey Mansfield and you're a 78 overall senior. You watch a video, go to the comment section and tell me, I want a point put into my strength. I want a point put into my agility. I want a point put into my elusiveness. 14 games a season, that, that, that adds up. That adds up real quick. You're, you're 78, you could be an 82, 83, real quick. Especially if you start off at 62, because you're not subscribed, I don't recommend that. Subscribe. Then all of a sudden, at 14 points a year, you can put it wherever, but not really. So if you like and comment, you can put a point into most attributes. We have forbidden attributes though. And those forbidden attributes for all, you know, for everybody, speed, awareness, and then something position specific example for receivers, it'll be catching. Why? Because if you put 14 points into your catching, your overall goes up really, really fast. As a matter of fact, let's show, let's show you. Okay, his catching, and the game allows you to edit the ratings. Catching right now is, he was a 78 overall, the catching was 81. If he goes up to 95, all of a sudden he's an 83 overall. Eh? Eh? So we want to we want to kind of keep that from happening. I don't, I don't want you to be 99 overall by the time you're a sophomore. Like, come on, bro. Like I said, we we, we play everything realistic. And so the progression naturally, what whatever the game does. We're not gonna we're not gonna affect that you know when you're at when your awareness goes up through the season because you're playing so many plays as a, as a true freshman and as a sophomore that's also gonna you know do whatever but if you like i say like and comment you get to put your point into one of many attributes but if you like comment and share share it wherever twitter facebook uh instagram i i, I don't care just tag me in it then you can put it into your speed, your awareness. If you're a receiver, you're catching. If you're if you're a safety, you're tackling. If you're you're a quarterback, uh, we'll, we'll figure out something. I think throw power is where we're gonna put it because throw power all of a sudden, you know that's that's whatever it is the quickest running backs carrying. You know if if, if you're a speed guy and you want you, you know you want to put you want to put it into speed this week. 
like comment and share and then like i say in that comment you know we can still you know we can shoot the stuff try not to cuss but you can also put it uh yeah if you if you want to go up 14 points in speed that's your prerogative you control that so that's what we're going to, you know, I want you guys engaging with me. Tell me how you want your player to progress. If you have an idea, if you say, hey, man, uh, I think you should be running this play with me as opposed to that. Yo, let me know. Let's talk. Hey, you back and forth. Coach Williams, let's do this. Um, so, yeah. So, like I said, if you want to be a recruit, give me a height, weight, position, number, specific swag, and what type of style of player you want to be subscribe i highly recommend you subscribe if you're subscribed your overall is higher to start off and then engage with your boy now when we added players to the inaugural recruiting class i i sent i, I posted it in the in the forum and then i hit the hummies up and the hummies were none too pleased and i think they didn't understand hey two three-star recruits and, and, and every single hummy, I will like hummy hummy, not just, you know, these are the people I know IRL. I, I'll explain to you why you think your ratings are so low. But uh, our inaugural recruiting class, these are the guys who they wanted to be a part of this. These guys have been following the channel. Uh, a couple of them have their own channels. That'll be in the, de uh, the description. You can go check them out. One of those is Justin Desiring. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Go check him out. It'll be in the uh, description. He is our starting quarterback for the first year of our inaugural season. It's going to be tough for him because it's not. We, 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 we will not be more talented than anybody on our schedule. And I'll show you the sliders we're going to play with. It is not going to be easy to complete passes. It's going to be rough. Uh, but as he progresses, we will progress. You know, we, we're not going to put too much on his plate. His job is to exist between getting the, 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 the snap from the center and giving the ball to Booby. That's what it's going to be. Our version of Booby, Trent Womack, 5'10", 185 pounds, speed back. A smaller guy, one of those guys, he runs with that forward lean. Uh, his job is just get what he can. The offensive line, we're not going to be at an advantage a lot. We're a team that's going to run a lot of uh, dive, a lot of base, because we are an academic uh, program. So you know, a lot, we're going to we're going to focus on recruiting guards who have high awareness. And the higher your awareness is, the better they are at blocking. Like when they pull, finding that linebacker. If the linebacker shoots, they're usually better at uh, identifying who to block. Our speed back, five seven, 165 pound, Darius Johnson. His job is to spell Womack and then find a seam and be gone. You know, especially in the whack, 90 speed, 89 acceleration. If he if he gets a seam, yo, good luck. Good luck catching him because he, he'll, he will be gone. And that, that's his job, catch screens. Uh, we don't want to run him inside the tackles that much because he's very, very small. We, we, we want to avoid injury. We are not deep, but yeah i'm gonna butcher this i know i'm gonna butcher it as a matter of fact hold on hold on i even had to hold on how do you pronounce this hold on hold on it's a, it's a little lady Marroquin. okay <laughs> so jason marroquin 5'9 226 pound power back slash fullback in this offense our power backs are you know we put them at fullback your job one step cut find the hole and if someone dares meet you in the hole put your chest put your shoulder in their chest run through them fall forward red zone uh third and ones this is going to be our guy he's you know 30 40 pounds heavier than our other backs that's his job not not not, not so much lead blocking all of our fullbacks we're going to go after are going to be receiving types our tight ends are going to be the blockers because we want that inline guy and those you know, sniffers to help us with the offensive line. Because the offensive line is not going to be good. But if the offensive line can get those blocks, the guy coming out of that backfield, he's either going to be a fast guy or he's going to be a guy who's looking to put a, a, a DB on a butt. Our receivers. We'll, we'll start with Dahami, who actually came up with the idea about, the, about progressing the recruits. 
Hunter Payne, six foot, 185 pounds. He's our shot guy. He's the guy when we when we go play action and we want to, we want a big post and we want somebody to get 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 up to that safety real fast and then run inside of them and go up. You know, when we want to take our shots, he's the guy. I told him he, you've got two jobs: catch screens and then go up top. Uh, he's just a possession guy. He's, he's a spec guy. He can jump. He can run fast. You're gonna have to deal with him. Zach Marshall, 6'1", 185 pounds. Also, his his YouTube channel will be in the description. Uh, he's a guy who's been following us since almost day one. He does he does really good. He does more storytelling with his videos, and I highly recommend go check him out. He's our slot possession guy. Think Wes Welker, Danny Amendola. Um, good route running. Uh, catch the ball per se like we're talking like, like I said two three-star recruits his job is to move the chains when 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 Payne's running that that big post the guy running the dig Marshall the guy the guy we match up on the linebackers with the option routes Marshall move the ball man move the ball make it make Justin's job much easier because it's going to be rough uh tight ends like I said most mostly blockers offensive line ow ew ill ill as you'll see the, most, the only players you'll see rated in the 70s are going to be seniors usually because they they, they transfer in they want to be a part of this uh they they something bad happened elsewhere they're with us now get back to the players who are part of our inaugural recruiting class Ter Ter terrell eans undersized linebacker but uh fast hits hard He's the guy we're going to blitz. He's the guy. He dropped back in coverage a, a little bit, but mostly we're going to use him to blitz. We're going to use him to shoot gaps. We're going to use him to uh, defend the running backs out in the flats. Hopefully, you know, put him on a tight end every once in a while. Basically, all he's going to do is just be athletic. Be fast, arrive, angry, hit somebody. The heart and soul of our defense, Kenneth Enna. Good speed, good strength, comes downhill. His job is to be in the middle of the field, run sideline to sideline, play a little bit of robber. Definitely going to be our spy in a lot of situations. His job is to keep the defense solid. Our, our, our only thing we want to do is be solid defensively. We got a guy in the middle. He can do a little bit of everything. He, you know, he, he's uh, one of our better guys at getting off blocks. And... He, 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 he's gonna smike. He's, he, he's gonna smike those guys running slants. Hopefully, cause a couple of fumbles. On the other side, 5'10, 220 pound Jacob Ware. This is our pass rusher. This is the guy we want to try to get matched up on guards who can't pass block that well. Uh, if we get a matchup with a tackle, uh, when Eanes is shooting a gap, we want Ware forcing the offensive line to, to find out where he is. Like I said, two-star, three-star, but he's the only guy on our, on our team with any semblance of a, of a finesse rush or a power rush. So he's primarily the guy that we're going to try to get the matchups and get to the quarterback. Last but certainly not least, William Moore, the only freshman who's not going to be starting of the guys who, like I said, wanted to be a part of the inaugural class. He'll be backing up Lance Buchanan to begin the season. William is a more of a boundary guy he's a guy we'll also use to spy uh put him in a lot of robber put him in a lot of uh flat situations where he he's getting out and uh basically just able to make a decision and go go find somebody and go hit somebody uh, you see he's 5'10 215 pounds uh good size not 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 the, not the fastest guy but hey you can change that mr william moore if you want to overtake mr buchanan hey you can do that and and that's that's another level of intrigue i want to create you may be in a position battle with another freshman you know when when when, when we get the recruiting class and you guys want to be uh you know you say you want to be a cornerback i, I want to be a safety a hey, i want to be that linebacker okay cool but somebody else may want to be that linebacker and your recruiting battle that's going to go all year so you know that's 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 the other level of intrigue 
we're still looking at the rest of the roster. Like I said, it's going to be tough. Uh, the overall is 63. Offense 65, defense 65. When I started with North Texas, like I said, we were about, I think, a 78 overall, 81 offense. And it took us it took us four years. No, it took us five seasons to get it to be in the national championship. So we're going to see with this roster. Uh, it is, it is going to be tough. I've played some practice games. I've, I've been blown out by 40. Uh, and I've won some, some games. So, yeah, that's the roster. And that's how we're going to start this season. Last but certainly not least, the sliders and the settings we play with. Of course, we're on Heisman because, really? Why, why would I not play on Heisman? Uh, Eight-minute quarters gets me the, the amount of plays required. Gets me the, the, the stats and all that. The game, realistic game play, yada, yada, yada. These are the penalties. May, may adjust these a little bit. You know, and in the custom AI, of course, we start with five accuracy because it that means you, it, it takes that uh, extra a little extra game planning to get going. You can't just come out running four verts and corner strike and post flags. It's really hard to get going. And that's usually where, the, you know, you might you might fall behind. You may, you may, you know, you may be ahead. You may get have a good start and jump out. You got to just really manage that extra layer to the game. And of course, this is what the computer's starting off on. And like I said, it creates a, a tough environment to do anything, but it's not overpowered. Like, I, I, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you've got to abuse the AI to compete. No, we, we put together real game plans. Uh, we stick to those game plans. And uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't play Sim. Sim, that's no such thing as Sim. Because even a Sim guy is playing for his job, so you're doing everything you can to win. But we'll call it compressed and i enjoy it it's how i have fun and it also creates good content honestly so yeah that's that's gonna be this first part of this first video uh we'll get to washington state the second time around thank you guys for watching the video uh the second video will upload it sometime later today so that we can get into the gameplay hopefully we don't get blown out because i don't like losing I, it, it really chaps my ass <laughs> but uh yeah, thank you for watching. See you a little later, guys and gal. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe.